Natalia, um, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> As usual, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, but yes, my name is Natalia and this is Crafting with Natalia and today I'm recording a floss tube video. So, I don't know, I'm feeling strange about this one um, because, I don't know, it's been an eventful couple of weeks uh, for me personally uh, but also um, I'm sure you're all also aware and you're all watching the news uh, but it's been a difficult week for uh, for everybody I guess for the whole world of all or at least here in Europe you know um, we're very concerned about what's happening and as a Polish person um, you know I can't help but being worried about the situation um, in Europe at the moment uh, and yes, and I feel very, very strongly about, um, you know, about what's happening in Ukraine and about, um, you know, to just just thinking about people there and what they're going through and um, how difficult it must be for for them to be losing their livelihood, to be um, to having to run away um, from their own country, from their own homes, um, or to see their homes being destroyed or. Uh, having to separate from their families and um, and you know the uncertainty of, of what's going to happen um, I think you know it's it's so I wasn't sure I wasn't sure if, if even if I should be recording any videos uh, today or I don't know <laughs> or at all I don't know it just feels very trivial you know um, me being worried about my crafts when when people out there are losing their lives uh, literally but but you know we have to go on with our lives as well and um it's good to have a little bit like a little ray of joy in life right it's it's good to have something something positive uh something that helps us um distress i guess because i don't know i don't know about you guys but um i get very very anxious i get very very anxious um you know about about the world about everything about about my private life about everything all the time I get so anxious and um, and having this channel having having my crafts having my cross stitch my diamond painting that really really helps um, with coping with with these very difficult times and you know with the anxiety the the unknowing of what's going to happen uh, so I decided to record this video, but I'm not feeling the usual me right now. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed uh, with a lot of things. Uh, so I wanted to be honest with you because because that's who I am. Like I I don't like pretending, and um, and I also feel like it's important to talk about these things as well. Uh, and it's important to admit sometimes that maybe we're not as okay you know maybe maybe we're also struggling uh even if i'm smiling and giggling and and all um life can be difficult as well um you know and i think it's important sometimes to admit it to other people um yeah but anyway i'm i'm going to try and, and you know <laughs> and keep the usual positive me um uh, but i just wanted to let you know um that this is how i'm feeling because um yeah I don't know because I think it's going to be a bit difficult for me to to concentrate and to to be exactly you no know, to be I don't know to be normal <laughs> am I ever normal no I'm not normal so I don't know I don't know how to explain this but I think I just wanted you guys to know how I feel just in case if this video ends up a complete mess at least please forgive me because I actually made myself record this you know I actually said no I'm going to try and do this and I'm going to actually try and um, keep going with, with the things that I love the things that I care about and I'm going to make this floss tube no matter what even if it's rubbish I'm going to record it and and you know hopefully it's gonna be okay <laughs> hopefully somebody watches it and somebody still enjoys it or I don't know I think you know guys you, you're like you're my friends like I know we don't meet in person like I've never met any of you but you are my friends and you know I think today I needed a friend um so yeah I needed I needed to talk to my friends so <laughs> I don't know I feel strange okay okay I'm gonna stop stop talking about personal stuff for now about about how I feel 
this is too much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, yes, talk about my cross stitch. <laughs> Let me have a sip of coffee first, but because it's getting cold. Uh, but yes, I'm going to talk about my cross stitch now. Um, and I'm struggling actually to remember where I left off last time. Because I feel like I've done a lot this month in terms of stitching. Not so much in terms of diamond painting. I think I think I, I didn't do enough diamond painting, but I did a lot of stitching. So, so I think I can show you that. Still, there's so many things I didn't do that I wanted to do, but I always run out of time for all the things, all the projects. You know, guys, it's too many, too many exciting projects all the time. Mm. Okay, so I have one finish. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. I have one finish, um, which uh, I think you expected to see. If you if you saw my last video, I mean, I think, to be honest, I can't even remember, but I think <laughs> since that was January, yes, 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 that was January, end of January. And I said it was the Aquarius season uh, that just started uh, and I'm an Aquarius. And my dad is Aquarius and I have a lot of Aquarius friends for some reason. Um, maybe Aquarius people get along. I don't know. But anyway, I was stitching uh, my zodiac sign, uh, Aquarius, from Satsuma Street. And I finished it. I finished it. And I finished it in a hoop. Um, so I got a black hoop from a shop. <laughs> Here it starts again. I forgot to check the name of the shop, so I will put it on the screen as usual. And also, as usual, all of the products, um, any, any Etsy sellers or any other kind of sellers, or if I get any charts from somewhere or fabric, I will try and link it all, or at least give you the names of the shops below the video. And if anything is missing, if you if you don't find the information that you need, then just please leave me a comment and I will add that information because uh, sometimes it's hard to remember every single thing. Um, but yes, but so I will check the name of the shop. So I got the black hoop because, because I stitched it on a black fabric. It was black sparkly fabric. Uh, so let me show you. There it is. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> she looks cute. I think she looks very cute. Um, I actually love her. I think now, because we have sunlight now, now I think she looks really, really cool in the sunlight. So yeah, so she's finished in a round, um, obviously, round black hoop. And I also tried, I was curious, because this shop, so they sell hoops um, in different colors, and they also sell hoops that have like fabric around them. Uh, but I, I thought about decorating or having a fabric frame, but actually I decided to just go for simple black hoop in the end because I, I thought it doesn't really need uh, much more. I, I quite liked, um, so this is a very black sparkly, very sparkly Ada, and I like the look of it and, and I didn't think it needed anything more. So I'm very happy with it. So I just left the plain black, but they've got lots of different options. And they also sell bags, like to finish your, if, I think if you like wanted to give a gift or some to someone, or, you know, if you want to uh, finish nicely without seeing the back of it, then you can stick, uh, it's just stuck on with a glue, uh, fabric glue, uh, you can stick that wooden backing. Uh, so you can order a hoop with the backing as well. I think that's really nice, um, really nice to finish your projects, having that back. Uh, especially, I think, yeah, if I wanted to give it to someone, you know, just having it out as a decoration, it's really nice to have that. Um, yeah, and it says made with love. Yeah, so that's my little finish. Nothing, you know, nothing very special, nothing very big, but I think it's very, very cute, my Aquarius. Uh, I think in the future I would like to stitch some more uh, of the zodiac signs from Satsuma Street. Um, I think they're very, you know, they're, they're quick stitch. Um, I mean, it, it still took me a while, but, you know, it's a small stitch, it's a small project. They're very manageable and they do end up really nice. I think they turn out really nicely. So, yes, that's my Aquarius. Right, and then I have my other Aquarius, which um, if you've seen my last video, you would know that I started my first hate. Yeah, so first heaven and earth designs. I realized in my last video, I don't really explain acronyms and I probably should. Uh, so hate, uh, it stands for heaven and earth designs. 
and so I have a few patterns from them, a few charts, um, but I was afraid to start any of them and I'm, I'm purely, I'm just overwhelmed by the size of them because I'm not a fast stitcher and I stitch on multiple projects at the time. I do my diamond painting, so I don't really have a whole lot of time to be stitching. Um, you know, like, I'm like it just overwhelms me thinking how long will it take me to finish something that's got like 260, 260,000 or something stitches. It's just, it's a tremendous amount of stitching. Um, and I have a few charts from them, so I'm like, I'm never gonna have time to stitch them all. My, but well, you gotta try, no? <laughs> so, um, so I started my first hate. And I decided, um, yeah, if I if I ever want to actually have any chance of finishing it, I will have to do it in ten stitch, because um, it's just much faster, and um, there's just no chance in the world that I'll be able to finish a hate um, using a full cross. I think I think I would just make very slow progress on it, and I would get frustrated, and eventually I would never finish it. Um, so it does go much faster with ten stitch. But I decided for my first project, very stupidly, but I decided, <laughs> well, because I really wanted to do this specific chart and I really, really wanted to do, um, to do, well, I just, I love this painting. So this is a painting from Josephine Wall. It's Aquarius as well. I'm not like a zodiac crazy person. I just, I just like my zodiac sign. <laughs> I don't care about the other ones. I just, I just like my zodiac sign. <laughs> Um, and I don't read horoscopes or anything like that. Um, but so, yes, so Aquarius, I'm going to insert a picture here of the painting. So the original artwork by Josephine Wall. Uh, and I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, and I love how Aquarius is pictured in there. She, she's that woman with, with a big vase um, pouring water. I mean, kind of like this one was also, but this one was very silly, very whimsical, very cartoonish. Of course, that one is much more artsy and um, yeah, and, and she's like on like, you can see the earth underneath, you know, she's like kind of pouring the water on earth, um, making life grow. And, um, and yeah, there are beautiful orchids on the side. I love these orchids and there's like birds in the background and stuff. And, and I love like the stars in the sky and the moon. Um, yes, I love the painting. And so because I love the artwork so much and I love how rich it is in terms of colors, how vibrant. So um, when I looked at the mock-up from Heaven and Earth Design's website, I just knew that I had to go for the max color version uh, because there was just it was just so much more vibrant, the mock-up, uh, that I decided, okay, I'm going to have to go for max color which got like 250 colors or something. I don't know exactly, but a crazy amount of colors. Um, and yeah, so, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing it and I need to, I'm going to try today really hard because I, when I was editing my last video, I realized I didn't say the fabrics. I didn't, but then also a lot of time I don't remember my fabrics, but, 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 but I got, give me a second guys, give me a second. But I got myself a little notebook and I haven't filled it in completely yet with all my projects, but I'm I'm like giving a page to every project in here, my cross stitch project, uh, and I can write down what fabric I'm using, and if I'm like if like there's any anything different about it from from I don't know from the original chart or I don't know whatever notes I want to make about this project, I can write it so that then when I forget when I'm doing my floss chip and I forget what fabric I'm using, I can just look in here and I will know. So I think that's fun. Uh, so, so yes, because I realized when I was editing my last video that I wasn't really giving a lot of details about fabrics and stuff. So I will try to be better. I don't promise that I'll do it for every project, but I will try. Okay, so so you may have seen a glimpse of my project already because I got through it on the side, didn't I? But this is it. Well, <laughs> which way? <laughs> which way is it going? Okay, so this is um the. I always struggle with right and left and I struggle even more because I'm seeing it in the camera and I don't know if this is a mirror of the, or this is right so <laughs> but this is my right hand <laughs> I think <laughs> so this is my right hand so this is top right corner of the design so I will I will try so I'll show you the artwork again here yes yeah, so you can see it 
and now hopefully you can see where this belongs yeah so in on the top right corner so now i'm going to show you this closer so you can hopefully see a little bit of the color so it's mostly all the shades of blue really there's probably all the blues all the dmc blues that you can think of in this project um so so yeah so you should be able to see like so this is the moon i was hoping i was really hoping that for this floss tube i will manage to finish my first page uh so i'm working mostly on the first page and then so the way okay so let me explain this is gonna be a long video isn't it but you know what I don't care I'm not gonna apologize for a long video just get a you know, cup of coffee like me um, get yourself or, or tea or or whatever drink I don't know get get lunch I don't know. <laughs> and, and, and just prepare for this to be a long video because I I feel like this is gonna be a long one but so uh, the way I work on this project is I think I'm going to do it more or less page by page um, though I was kind of thinking maybe once I finish this page I will just kind of like I will expand the, the area that I'm working on a little bit more um, but um, but mostly at the moment I'm working on just on the first page and I'm working by color uh, so I started off with this very dark blue on top which is 939 and then there was some other dark blues um, and then I filled in, I realized actually it's easier to start off with the smaller colors rather than the big colors. Um, because, so I'm using Pattern Keeper, which is an app that really helps with counting the stitches. It marks off the whole color and you can just mark off which, which stitches you've done. And because I'm using, so okay, so yeah, fabric, this is 28 count. Um, easy Grid or Easy Count, whatever it's called, is by Zweigart, I think. Um, so it's got the grids yeah they're 10 by 10 grids and that's really good um because then i can um uh, very easily see like um like i can very easily count stitches even if they're quite far away from each other because i have this 10 grid as reference uh so then i can count one two three four five you know four, and and up to 10 i can count be beyond 10 uh, I, I can't count but up to 10 i can count or i can count from the like 10 9 8 from the back so so it's kind of like up to five really that i need to count so i can manage that and so the grids really really help uh so actually i can start with the smaller colors um because once i if i start as so i realized that because i started with 939 which was quite a big color and when I filled in all that 939, I realized that um, it was actually very hard for me to see where the... Because the grids disappear. If you put a lot of stitches on, then the grids disappear. And because I only had like one color, it was really hard to see where my other colors were meant to go. Uh, because I kind of lost the reference. So like, let's say if I have a lot of colors, like here, I have much more colors, then I can at least use the other colors as reference. When I don't see the grid, I can at least see, okay, there's a purple stitch there. Uh, so I'm like five stitches away from the purple stitch. If I, but if I just have dark blue and I can't see my grids, then I'm completely lost. And I, I, I was really struggling to count, uh, to be able to fill in the other colors. So now my uh, strategy is to fill in the smaller colors first. Um, and then the bigger colors and that's why I ended up doing and so now this whole this white white space here This is actually just one color that I need to fill in. I think it's 820 So I need to be filling that color and then I'll pretty much have almost the whole page finished I have one more color here that I need to fill in. I realized I actually didn't have the that DMC color in my stash So I had to order it and I was waiting it for uh, waiting for it to come so I have to fill in that color and then I just need to fill in the moon and that will be my first page done now you may see some stitches that are outside that first page it's just because if I do fill in the whole color on this page but I still have quite a bit of thread left uh, then I'm just going to fill in the stitches on the neighboring uh, page for that uh, just to use up the thread that I have um, so that's what I've been doing and also I think it's good to to expand to other page a little bit so that I don't get like straight lines uh, from stitching just one page at a time uh, so that's also why I started like going a, a little bit to the other pages as well to avoid these white lines um yeah so I'm a little bit concerned um I guess because I started on the this is the darkest part of the painting really I think the borders 
So the top border is all dark blue uh, just about as much as you can see here and then I think in the bottom as well there's there's a bit of dark uh, but most of the inside of the painting is actually much brighter so it's only like the edges of the painting that are quite dark but because I've started with like the darkest bit and um, there is a little bit of fabric coming through I don't know if you can see that actually I meant to show you um, a view from my back camera so I may insert that here so you can see I think I recorded like a little video uh, or insert a picture from my back camera so you can see what it looks like and my back camera is a little bit better um, so that you can see and you may be able to to see that there's a little bit of the white fabric coming through because it's uh, so it's um, 2 over 1 10 stitch yeah 2 over 1 10 stitch on 28 count so it's not perfect coverage it's pretty good though I think it's pretty good coverage and I think I would struggle to get a better coverage uh, because if I went one over one, I would still probably have similar size gaps, I think, on 28 count. And 32 count is just a little bit too small, I think, for, for me to, to be stitching on. So I think this is the best I could do, really. Um, and the thing is, if I move it away like this, it's it's very hard to see the, you know, the, the fabric coming through. I think it looks pretty... You know, like uh, I think the human eye kind of adjusts to just seeing the, the actual picture rather than seeing the, the gaps. So it kind of, it's able to like delete the gaps and, and so it comes together. And, and it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive painting. So nobody's going to be really focusing on these little gaps here and the top edge. Everybody's going to be looking at the picture, I think. If it ever actually happens, if, if I ever complete it. Um, so the plan is, and I really, really want to keep working on it. I really want to make it like my focus piece and put quite a bit of stitching on it every month uh, because I'm really enjoying it and I'm really loving it coming to life. Uh, so I would like to, once I finish this page, I would like to go, and that's why I'm thinking, so, so basically I got a bit bored of the blue. I mean, there's still quite a bit of color changes, so it looks just blue, but there's a lot of colors, like it's like 60 colors or something going in here. Um, and there's like greys and a little bit of purples and, and stuff. There's some colors, there's like one stitch of that color and that's it. But anyway, um, this this page here is very similar to this page. And I'm like, my initially I thought I was going to do this page next. But now I'm thinking it's going to be the same thing again. And I'm, I'm just thinking maybe I will vary it up a little bit. And I may do a little bit of this page. And, and when I get bored of it, I may start going on this page. Um, the, the one here, where this is where the orchids start and it starts to get a bit brighter. So there will be lots of different colors coming. Uh, so I may try and like, if I get bored of this one, I may start on this one. So I may work on these two pages uh, more. And I think like I'd really love to, you know, in the next few months to be able to finish this whole, there's, there's like four pages here. And then I think this is going to be a really lovely corner. Uh, I'll insert the artwork again here so that you can see. So that top right corner, I think it's going to be really, really beautiful. Uh, you know, when, when I start getting into these brighter parts and I'll finish the moon and I'll have the orchid and then I think the vase is uh, starting and, and that page here. Uh, so I think that will be really, really nice. Yeah, so that's my Aquarius number two. So this is from Heaven and Earth Design uh, and the artist is Josephine Wall. And I can link this one below as well, below the video. Um, the cover mind, no, not the cover, <laughs> not from Diamond Painting World. We call them cover minders and needle minder. Yes, needle minder. Um, again, I can't remember the shop name. I know I said it in the last video um, and I'm going to need to look back and see what I said it was. Uh, but this is a really nice UK based seller uh, for needle minders. Um, so I've got, I think I've got three different needle minders from them. Um, they arrive very, very quickly and they're all very, very pretty. Uh, I love them. So I'm going to insert the name of the shop here for you uh, to check them out. And then again, that will go in the description below the video as well, in case if you'd like to find out if, if you'd like to get one for yourself as well. Okay. So I'm gonna put this aside now. Oh, I'm, I need I need to breathe. <laughs> I need to breathe. I need to have a sip of my cold coffee now. Let me have a bit. Mm. Okay. I did a bit of thinking because as I was working on the Aquarius, I was really enjoying it. 
which is a good thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good thing to be enjoying the projects you're working on. But that made me delay my other projects and that made me change my mind about starting some new things uh, because I didn't want to like at that point start a new project and also it made me delay my other things that I was going to work on regularly but I decided as I always say this this is my hobby right this is something I do to relax something that I do to enjoy myself something that you know that's meant to bring me joy and happiness and you know it's something that's fun for me uh, yeah I know stitching is fun so, <laughs> what kind of 30 well I'm 32 now I had my it was my birthday month you know yeah yeah so so my birthday month just oh it's been a crazy month really so my birthday comes uh, one day after valentine's uh, so I had a long valentine's slash birthday weekend and yeah <laughs> it was it was it was good it was good but also it was a bit eventful and I didn't know if I should say something but I will well I should say something shouldn't I I'm, I'm just I'm scared to jinx things I'm always scared to, to jinx things but I've got a ring <laughs> on my finger <laughs> and it gives me it gives me it gives me joy but it gives me more anxiety at the moment than joy <laughs> But also, yeah, so it was an eventful Valentine's slash birthday weekend and I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering and I don't know how I, how, where, where I was going, where I was going with this. I think, oh yes, because, well, it was my birthday month, so I, I was thinking about, I don't know, starting something new for my birthday. But then things kept happening in my life and in the end, I don't want to get stressed about you know, what I should be working on, what I should be starting or what I should be continuing. Uh, so I decided if I, if I love working on Aquarius, I'm going to keep going working on Aquarius. And if I wanted to start something for my birthday, I don't have to start it for my birthday. I can start it later. Uh, you know, it's still, I still want to work on all the projects and um, <sighs> I'm all over the place. No, <laughs> I'm all over the place, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yes, I wanted to to basically, well, I started the month. Let, let's start from the beginning. I started the month thinking that I have to do I have to stitch the next month from the modern folk modern folk embroidery um still fresh fruit sal now it is uh it was the the fruit of plenty um or mfa M mfe sal so modern folk embroidery sal 2021 and now chris cross stitch um he's the wonderful floss tuber that i watch every week chris cross stitch he now um he he initiated the the second round of that sal for those who didn't maybe finish the first round or didn't start the first round and now it's called the still fresh fruit cell um i'll put a hashtag here and i i was kind of hoping to to make because i didn't really make much progress at all last year on that cell and i was hoping that this year will go better but then also i was a bit skeptical because it, it's a very big project it's a very big stitch along um which involves a lot of stitching every month and i'm like oh it's a lot of stitching probably too much for me uh, and and of course it is too much but i started off um the month thinking that i would try and uh, maybe even complete uh, the whole march so i think last time when you saw it i'll try and insert picture here um yeah i'll try and insert picture but last time when you saw it, I did. I didn't insert picture for Aquarius, but there was barely anything last time when you saw it. That would have literally like just a top row, so it wasn't worth looking for that picture. I think. Um, but <laughs> let me just uh, let me just grab this. Okay, so last time when you saw this, um, you you can see what you saw because I can't actually remember. But I think I was still working on February. I don't know if I actually finished. I mean, I didn't. I know that I didn't finish the whole thing because I left the bottom part out for later. But I'm not sure if all the other stitching was complete for February. So for the second part, basically, so the middle part of the top row. Um, 
And uh, so I'm not sure if I finished that last time, but anyway, the plan was uh, to finish the February and then to to do as much of March as possible um, in February, just to confuse things. But so basically I wanted to work on the third part and I, I started the month thinking that I was going to do a lot, like I was going to maybe even finish the whole month. Uh, so I was like, I'm, I'm going to do this. But guys, I got frustrated with this project. I honestly got frustrated because there's a lot of border stitching. A lot of, there's a lot of lines and borders and lines and borders. And, <laughs> and I did manage to, to stitch a lot of the border, but I'm still not even done with the border. So I'll show you. So this is what I have. So this was the February, yes, so the second part. This is the January here. Sorry, I'm, I'm lazy I, because I have it perfectly. I have my um, frame. What is it? What do you call this? It's not a hoop. Well, it's a square hoop, isn't it? So I've got my my hoop thing um, perfectly where I want it. And I was lazy. I was like, I'm not good. I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. I'm just going to keep it in. Um, anyway, you've seen this plenty of times. You can see my other videos if you want to see this part. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where I am now. So this is the middle, the February part, and this is the March part. And so, first of all, this this thing, it takes so much time to stitch. Um, the, this negative space, because there's a lot of stitches. It's a lot of stitches in there, and it took me forever to do this part. And then there's borders and borders and borders and borders. And then I was like, I can't, I, I can't do this anymore. I had to put it aside after like, I don't know. I spent like a weekend. I think I spent a weekend stitching on it and I, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And then yesterday I picked up and, and just completed that because I think I stopped somewhere here and gave up. And so I completed that, that top border here. Um, but I still need to finish this border fill in all the red so you have to fill in all that red here around around here and here <laughs> so all that border then you have to do the blue border <laughs> and then I have to put like the little flowers that go in there and then only I can stitch the middle part but it just takes forever to get to the middle part and I just got really really frustrated with it so so yeah <laughs> but anyway I think I think it looks beautiful when I when I see it now on the camera it looks so beautiful so I love the look of this project but I every time I pick it up now I just get frustrated with the border with stitching the border and I'm just thinking about all the other borders that I'm going to have to stitch and I think it's gonna take forever before I finish this project there's no chance I'm gonna keep up with the stitch along so I'm kind of I was thinking about it in February and like I'm not going to be calling my stitch alongs stitch alongs anymore because that was kind of stressing me out. When I started the month, I was thinking I will try and, and you know, do as much as possible because then everybody else is going to, with the stitch along, is going to get to March because March is starting soon. Uh, so I need to be a bit ahead so that I can keep up. But now I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to try and keep up with anybody. <laughs> it's too stressful and I don't want to be getting frustrated with my projects just because I can't keep up it just I thought it would take me much quicker and it's not taking me quicker and yeah and I don't want to be stressing up about my hobby so I'm just gonna do it at my own pace I don't know how far I will get this year but I'm not going to think about how far I should be because it doesn't matter really I'll stitch it when I stitch it and I'll just I'll stitch it because I enjoy stitching it not because I feel like I have to stitch on it so this is how far I am right now and I think uh, I will insert like a little video here as well just to show you the close-up uh, though there isn't much to see because it's just a lot of borders but at least you can enjoy seeing all my borders <laughs> right so that's that's the modern folk embroidery fruit of plenty uh, sal 2021 okay um, but please visit uh, Chris Crosstitch if you'd like to see him. He he's keeping up so far. Um, you know. Um, so they're on February uh, for the second edition of the stitch along, and and there's a hashtag on Instagram, and you can see everybody from last year and everybody from this year, and and all the everybody's progress is so beautiful, so beautiful. I love this project. In terms of looking at it, I love it. In terms of stitching it right now, I don't love it, but I'm sure I'll get back to it. Okay. 
I'm looking at my floor because my projects are currently lying on my floor and I'm trying to figure out what, what to pick up next. Mm, I only put a few stitches in this one, so, so it's not really worth that much showing you, but I will show you. Yeah. This you may have seen previously on my channel, uh, but it's been a while. And I again, I only put a few stitches in it. I'm having... I don't know why every time I pick this project, then I get distracted with something else. Um, initially, I wasn't sure about this, but actually now that I've picked it up, I really loved the, the few stitches that I put in. I really loved putting them in. So, <laughs> so I actually really want to. I think I will try. I will try and make this my goal for March and uh, work a little bit on this project. And this is a kit from RTO, which is called Fairy Tales Live on the Roofs. Uh, fairy tales live on the roofs and so um, What was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, so this came as a kit um, And I'm using the threads from the kit which are DMC threads But they don't give you the numbers which is really annoying because this project actually restarted on a different fabric So I started it on the fabric supplied by the kit, but I didn't like the fabric supplied by the kit and I changed to a different fabric So this was originally I don't know if it says it here. 14 count Ada. It was like a very grey kind of Ada. I, I didn't like it very much. And so, and I wasn't happy really with how I was looking. And so I restarted it. But because they don't give you DMC numbers, um, then I was kind of running out of some threads. But I just managed. I hope I'm not going to run out of any other ones. But I'm going to have to see until the end. But I just managed. So for the girl, I was kind of running out the second round. But... But she, I managed to complete her and complete the bird, and that was that was a while back. That was back back in summer last year, I think. Um, and then I completed this building and this tree, and now I've put a few stitches. I think I finished. Uh, so 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 the, the the frames for the windows, yeah, the the white outline for the windows and this gate here, and I've put all these white stitches here in the roof for the next building, uh, and I think some grays uh, here as well. I'll try and put the picture here of what it looked last time, if I can find it. I don't know. I don't know when is the last time I've shown you this project, honestly. And this is what it looks like now. Okay. So there's not that much difference, really. And a lot of the stitches, that I, I think, mostly was white stitches, so they're kind of hard to see. Uh, that's the only thing with this project, that the white stitches are quite hard to see, and there's a lot of white stitches there, like the bird. The bird is all white, but it's actually really hard to see it. Today, I think in the in sunlight, it's a bit easier to see it. When it gets, when you have artificial light, then it becomes really difficult to see things. So there isn't much really to say about this project. Again, I will insert a little video here uh, with my back camera so that you can see a bit more of a close up of, of the stitching. Um, what should I say? The fabric, so, so I, I told you I'm using a different fabric. So this is actually my oldest whip, by the way. Uh, so I started it um, for my birthday last year, actually. So it's been a year, but I'm not stitching on it very much and not regularly. I, I very rarely pick it up. But that's why I think I'll try and stitch on it in March. Uh, I'd really like to stitch because, um, yeah, I like how it's looking now. After a break, I've had a bit of a break with this project and now I'm really feeling like I want to stitch on it again. So, um... So replace fabric for fabric from pulp, uh, <laughs> pulp, <laughs> pulp stitch. <laughs> I can't talk, but I'm gonna put the name of the shop on the screen. I'm trying to say pulp stitching Aberdeen. So it's a shop from Scotland. Uh, with um, so so she, I can't remember the name of the lady who runs the shop. Uh, she's very lovely. Um, she's on Etsy. Uh, Pulp Stitching Aberdeen and uh, she sells printed uh, printed Ada uh, she's got a few different um, different color options and different prints available and this one is candy floss so I don't know how much oh yeah actually I think it's coming up actually in the sunlight it's you can see so it's like transitioning from pink between pink yellow and blue so this is candy floss this is 16 count um, 16 count fabric 16 count Ada. Um, and I don't know if there's anything else to say. I think this needle needle minder actually I got from a diamond painting shop, so it was a cover minder. Um, 
I think it was from Painting with Diamonds UK. But I'm not really very happy with this shop at the moment, so I don't know if I would recommend ordering from them because I've been waiting for an order for a very long time and they're not responding to me, so so I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, that's that's the, besides besides anything. So yes, let me just put this away. I think I think I said everything I wanted to say about this. I don't know. Um, and that's what I was thinking. Um, Sorry, I'm all over the place, but as I was telling you about the fabric, I was thinking that I didn't tell you the fabric for the previous project. Let me just bring that back for a minute. Um, dum -dum -dum. This one. Because I, I remember I didn't tell you the fabric last time either, so at least I'll try today to tell you what the fabric is. And the needle minder, that's from Just So Heavenly. Just So Heavenly, that's a beautiful one. The fabric is 40 count Newcastle linen. Uh, it's a raw, so the color is raw, uh, raw linen. And honestly, um, oh, and that's what I wanted, I wanted to say. I forgot, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> so Newcastle linen. Um, so I really, really honestly enjoy stitching on 40 count linen, at least this, this particular 40 count linen. I've never stitched on any other one, though I'm going to soon because I have a plan. Uh, but I'll show you next time that one. But um, this one, um, I really love stitching on this uh, Newcastle linen. Uh, I don't know, I think it's by Zweigart. I'm not sure if Newcastle linen is by Zweigart. I don't know. Um, but what I wanted to say is something that I only realized recently. As I was watching other floss tubers, and uh, specifically that occurred to me when I was watching um, X Stitch MD or Cross Stitch MD, I'm not sure how you say it, um, but um, it's a very, very lovely uh, floss tube channel. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it, she's, she's very, very popular. But she was saying that she didn't want to stitch on 40 count because she doesn't like stitching with one thread. And that made me think. And then I was watching other floss tubers and it dawned on me that this is a, a thing that probably everybody knows. But when I started this, this was my first ever project on linen. Okay. And I really didn't know if there's a needle. I found a random needle. Oh, this is a beading needle. Look at that. Sorry. I'm <laughs> it was stuck in the, in the fabric in the bottom. Oh, I know. This is a very long beading needle. That I just found. Okay, so <laughs> sorry about that. I, I, I think I, well, I don't actually know. It's a very long one. I don't even remember having such a long needle. I'm, I'm now fascinated where it came from. Okay, besides, uh, besides the point. Okay, so, so when I, <laughs> so yeah, this was my first ever project on linen. I picked 40 count because I, because this project is so big, and I wanted to be able to frame it at the end. And I was actually thinking potentially giving it to my parents. So I'm not even sure yet if that's what I will do. But I definitely would like to frame this. And I was thinking this is massive. And also I wanted, I didn't want to spend that. I was, because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I was very new to cross stitch still. And I wasn't sure if I was going to, you know, I've never stitched on linen and I wasn't sure if I'm going to like the colors. And I didn't want to like invest a whole lot of money for linen and also I wanted it delivered fast. So I went on eBay and I was looking for like the what counts of linen they were and I was trying to calculate the size of the product and like the finished project and, and I figured the best option so I can just get one piece of linen to stitch on uh, and I can then frame it afterwards and it's not too big and all that was for me to go for 40 count linen. Uh, I mean, I think it was, it was a bit of a long story how I was picking it. But anyway, in the end, just out on a whim, without really knowing anything about linen, I ordered this Newcastle row linen. I had no clue what I was ordering, basically. Uh, I just ordered a piece of linen from, from eBay, <laughs> hoping for the best. And it just happens to be a kind of linen that I really, really enjoy stitching on. I had no idea. But this is this is what happened and here's the fun fun fact i didn't really understand back then the the one over one two over two kind of thing i i heard about it and, and all that but this was actually 
probably the first time I actually tried stitching over two. I think initially I, I thought that I was supposed to stitch it over one, but I realized I couldn't see anything because this is so tiny that I couldn't stitch it over one. So then I realized, okay, I'm, I'm going to stitch it over two. And, uh, and it was like the first time I was counting over two, the holes are super small and all that. But it never occurred to me, because I was so still so new to cross stitch, it never occurred to me that I should be stitching it one over that I should be stitching it with one thread. It it wasn't even like a thing in my head that you should be stitching if you have 40 count linen, you should be stitching with one thread. So naive that I was, I just started stitching with two threads. So I stitched two over two. And the thing is I didn't have any issue with that. I didn't see, I didn't know that I should have any issue with that. Um, I just kept stitching two over two and it looked pretty, it looked fine. I enjoyed it, so I kept going. And now I realized apparently it's not really a thing to stitch two over two on 40 count. Apparently you're supposed to go one over one on 40 count. But I'm stitching two over two on 40 count and I'm loving it. And I just wanted to say it, if you don't stitch on 40 count just because you don't like stitching one over one try two over sorry one over two i should say one over two or just if you don't like stitching with one one strand that's what i'm trying to say try two <laughs> try two strands and see what happens because i think this looks beautiful and i don't see it being too bulky i don't have issue with putting my needle through at all um, and it's just a normal size needle, like, no, I don't know what's... It's actually a big one, this one's a big needle, but I'm not having any issue with with it. Uh, and yeah, it's 2 over 2 and 40 count, and I'm loving it. So I just wanted to say that, because that was my big realization, like, my, my <laughs> epiphany <laughs> from the month of February. I was like, hmm, I think, I never, I never honestly realized that. So yeah. Sometimes things, when you do things by accident, that they turn out really well, no? So yes, 2 over 2, 40 count. Okay. <sighs> We're at 47 minutes, guys. <laughs> Are you exhausted yet? I kind of, I'm starting to get exhausted. So just a couple, well, some small, other small things. I mean, this is very quickly. I showed you last month and I didn't make much progress. I think this is one evening worth of stitching. I've added some stitches to this project. Uh, I can show you a picture from last time here. I just had this middle part. Now I've added a few stitches here. So this is uh, going to be quite a big project as well. Um, this is from the Ink Circles and I'm sure it's got the name. Oh yes, Pentatonic, I think. I think it's called Pentatonic. Um, so yeah, I think it, because you have like five different color, it's like five times three. It's, it's a bit complicated, but, but basically this is just the outline. This is all going to be filled in with colors. So there's like five families of colors and each family has three colors in it. And pentatonic is for five. Yeah. Um, it's in, we use it in music actually, pentatonic. It's like a type of scale that you use. Um, but yeah, but anyway. This is stitched on Ada, 20 count Ada. So again, similar, yeah? 40 count two over two, uh, 20 count Ada two over one. Yeah, so kind of the same size of stitching. And I'm going with two over one because I really love the look. I like not seeing, so I really like not seeing the fabric come through. That doesn't apply to everything I stitch on. But in some designs, I really like having it i think it gives you very vibrant colors uh i like the fact that you don't see the background fabric so in this case i don't want to i, I really love actually how this is looking uh this black is getting very intense sorry i think there's a bit of sunlight a bit of glare <laughs> but this black is looking really thick and intense i'll show you actually now i'll i'll show you a view from my back camera it may just be a picture i'm not sure if it's going to be a picture of a video but just have a look from my back camera and you should be able to see these are very thick stitches yeah because it's two two over one on 20 count so very thick but i'm loving that that kind of look 
Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a much bigger project. And for now, for probably this year, I'm just going to be stitching the outline. So I'm just stitching the outline. And it's going to take me a while because it's a big, big piece. Um, yeah. So I'm just stitching the the, the background, uh, the, the outline is just 310, so it's just a normal DMC black. I don't know if there's, um, I can insert here a picture of what the finished um, finished thing should look like, just so that, just for your reference, so that you know what I'm actually stitching. And again, this is, this is where I am. Yeah, so this is obviously, this is symmetrical, so it could be either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a big square basically and this is like going towards one of the corners of the square again this is the needle minder from the same company that I couldn't remember from Etsy um, I don't know if you can see it it's hard to show you but it's again from the same that the one on the Aquarius um, the one of the Sun and the moon was it's a really nice I love these needle minders okay uh, right, so let me show you. So last time I showed you something that I bought, that actually I bought uh, for my birthday. Well, I bought a few things kind of, with excuse of it being my birthday month, so I, I, was, I went a bit crazy on buying things. Um, but one thing that I showed you last time, and I mentioned that I got a bit scared of it, but I wanted to start it. And, and I did, I started it last weekend, um, so I spent maybe I don't know, I spent, I spent three or four evenings stitching on it. Um, and this morning as well, I was doing some stitching on it. It's this kit from Riolis. So Riolis, I think they're a Russian company, aren't they? I think so. Uh, Riolis. Um, so this is Peacock. So, so it's called Eastern Beauty. This kit is called Eastern Beauty. Uh, it's a big, big... Uh, project, um, well, big, like big, <laughs> big design. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's going to be 19, 19, <laughs> 19 by 90. Okay, <laughs> so one nine by, by nine zero, <laughs> and it's going to be so they include these hangers to put it on, but you have to uh, finish the fabric yourself, they give you instructions for how to. Do the edges of the fabric and that's what's terrified it's, it's terrified me that, that i have to do it myself because um it looks pretty scary no they, they include all the pictures on how to do it um but the, it looks pretty scary and i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it but i'll for now i'm just stitching so i decided i'm not gonna worry about the edges for now i'm just gonna stitch the middle yeah and then worry about the edges at the end and so i've stitched i started um it took me a while to work out where I should start, <laughs> but I was worried that I'm gonna start, you know, in the wrong place. So I tried my best to find the middle of the fabric. Uh, I hope I managed. <laughs> it's a big piece of fabric. It's a really big piece of fabric, and it's very long. Um, and the the chart is split across three pages, so they like divide it into one, two, three, um, lengthwise. But so I had to, but then the marks for the middle are actually one is on the top page and one is in the middle page. So I had to align the top page with the middle page to figure out, and I was counting the squares and stuff to figure out where is actually the middle on the chart. And I'm not 100% sure that I worked that out correctly. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of correct when I look at it. So this is what I've got. So the middle, I, I worked out that the middle is like um, here. Ish. And so I started there. So this is the, the peacock's, like a few stitches from the peacock's tail. And then I went on to stitch some of this flower. So there's like a branch of the flowers here. Uh, so I went to stitch them. Again, I will insert a little picture or potentially a video here for you to see from the back camera to see a bit more detail. Um, yes, but basically that's where I am. So I'm here-ish, so this is the branch on the... the sun is horrible today, I'm sorry, I'm trying to... <laughs> I mean, I love the sun, I love having the sun, but it's not, it's not cooperating with me. Um, so here, that's the branch. <laughs> And that's my branch. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty big, but I think I think it's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. So this is an interesting one in terms of the threads, because the threads are actually acrylic 
acrylic. Are they acrylic? Yes, wool, wool slash acrylic. So they're like wool threads. Um, and they are kind of fluffy because they're wool. They're very fluffy threads. I'm not sure if you can see it. And they're only, you don't split them. So basically it's just like one, one thick thread. And a lot of, so, so depending on the symbol on the chart, some of them, a lot of them are actually stitched one over one. And this is 14 count, by the way, they, they've included this. This is Ada, 14 count. And I normally, I'm not a fan of, of 14 count. You, I'm sure if you've watched my channel, you know it. But I'm actually really enjoying this 14 count. I think, and I think it's because of the threads. I think because they're actually, I think the coverage, so so I think the one, one thread here is actually comparable to two threads uh, DMC. I'm not sure, but it's something nice about stitching with these threads on this fabric. I'm actually enjoying stitching with that combination. Uh, so I'm not complaining this time. For once, I'm not complaining about stitching on 14 count. <laughs> um, but also, not all of the colors, not all of the symbols on the chart are stitched with one thread. Or some of them are just 10 stitch with one thread. Um, some of them are actually two over one. Uh, so, you, so it's two threads over one square. Um, and some of them have like, there's one... One symbol, it's a very interesting one, this one. It's a very, very, I love how it's coming up. But it's like one leg of the cross is stitched with one thread of one color. And the other leg, the top leg, is stitched with like a darker green. So it's a green. Yeah, so that, that top leg is a darker green that's on top of a light green. And it's one thread on top of one thread. But it gives a very interesting effect and I love, I actually love how this is looking. Um, and th th these greens, they just work really beautifully together. And these oranges are very bright as well. These greens are very bright. So I love how vibrant the colors are in this kit. I'm really actually enjoying the colors. And um, yeah, I'm quite enjoying having to like switch between like one thread, two threads, you know, it's like 10 stitch, full stitch. I don't know, it's, it's just quite fun. So I'm actually really enjoying this project. So I've only started on it, but it's it's a uh, yeah it's it's been fun so far, uh, so so yeah enjoying this one. Um, something else I started this month. Let me just put this away. Something else. Um, there's just a couple more things, guys. So <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> By the way, let me just get some very cold coffee now. Well, it's it's been sitting in the sun, so it's not so cold. Uh, um. It's just because I'm getting a bit losing my voice there. So I'm not sure if you came across a, it's quite a new floss tube channel. Uh, I actually came across her on uh, on Instagram. So uh, the channel name is Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Quaint Rose Needle Arts. I'm gonna put it on the screen and I'm gonna put it in the description below as well because um. Yeah, just because my accent is also terrible, the quaint, I can't say the word quaint, quaint rose needle arts, it's a difficult channel name. Um, but so she, she is a, a very, um, I love her videos, she, her stitching is beautiful. Her stitching is absolutely beautiful. And she also now started her own Etsy shop uh, where she sells patterns. Um, well, she only has a couple now, but she's working on more. And I'm quite excited to see. Uh, she's shown uh, she she's shown on her last video. She's shown like a, a like the gl a glimpse at the next thing she's working on, and I'm quite excited to see that one. Um, but she's working like reproduction or reproduction samplers or reproduction. But the, the thing actually did that, that I. I got interested in this. I think it's kind of hard to call it a sampler. So it became a stitch stitch along or it became a hashtag on Instagram now. Uh, it's a very small design, but it's super cute. Um, so one thing about her, she, she loves stitching birds and I love birds and I love stitching birds as well. Uh, so I think we have that in common and I'm, that's why I'm also quite excited to see her other, um, her other designs or her other reproductions that she's working on. So she sells charts on Etsy for these reproductions. And this specific one, uh, it became very popular. It became a hashtag now. Um, the hashtag I will put on the screen. 
Mary Amelia's bird sal, I think, but I'm not sure. Um, but it's a little bird. I'll put the he I'll put a picture here of what it looks like finished. Uh, so people have been finishing it. So it's a very it's a small project. It's a nice small chart. Um, actually, I'll, I'll try and put a picture of the original uh, or, or or of the of the reproduction um, have the reproduction version of it uh, for you to see. And then people have been finishing it, um, you know, based on that chart um, that you can purchase on S on Etsy. Um, it's a lovely little chart. It's a lovely little bird. Uh, very simple, you know, a very simple. Just a bird sitting on the on a on a branch with flowers. But I thought it's very cute. And I was looking for a small design to gift to someone. Actually, um, like just a colleague of mine has been very very kind, and I felt like I wanted to to give them something small that was like um, handmade. And so uh, I thought oh, that would be a nice nice little gift for someone. Uh, so I started stitching it, but I actually, I just went through my stash and I just picked the colors that I liked for it. So some of them are the original colors from, from that, um, like the reproduction chart, uh, from the Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Uh, but some of the colors I replaced with, um, colors that I liked more from my stash. Uh, so, but I only started on it, so, so it's barely anything for now. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of glare, so I need to put something in the back. Mm. I don't have anything though, I don't have like a board here. I should have taken something, let me see if this works. Maybe not. Hmm. I should have been more prepared, guys, should have been more prepared, but let's see. Um, no. <laughs> this is a very transparent piece of fabric, I just realized that. Maybe if I use my other, the back of my other project, like, no. Or maybe if I use this, give me a second, guys. Um, yeah, it's a so the the fabric. Or did I write it down? Actually, I don't know if I actually managed to write this one down, uh, because I think I was trying to figure out what it is, and I think I didn't figure out yet what it is. I think this is a thirty-two count something. <laughs> Potentially in like antique white or something or cream. Um. Yeah, but it's a 32 count. I believe this is 32 count and it looks like a linen. So some sort of 32 count linen, maybe Belfast. I don't know, is Belfast linen 32 count? I think so. I will try and find out. And if I find out, I will put it on the screen. Um, but basically, this is what I have. Let me see if that works better. Yeah, you should be able to see it now, but the sun is very annoying. I'll try and put it here. So this is part of a little bit to start on the flower and then there's one leaf here, another leaf here and then the branch keeps going. Well, this is part of the branch. Um, this is where the bird is sitting. So this is the brown branch that goes like here and this, is, this should be, I think this is from the bird's tail. So right now it doesn't look like anything. Again, I will put like a picture or a video from my back camera so that you can see without the sun as well. Um, uh, yeah, but so so this is just a start um, and it's not a big stitch, but I, I think this would be another thing that I would like to focus on in March. Um, you know, so I think this will be the next thing that I'll be stitching on after this video. Uh, I think this is the, the project I'd like to come back to. I only spent maybe, I don't know, just, just um, I don't know, not a lot of time on this um, anyway. I just started it and then I put it away. Uh, but I'd really like to um, to finish it as soon as possible, so I think this will be another thing to focus on in March. Okay, and then the final thing that I started, um, I've been watching too much Floss Tube, um, and I got a bit um, kind of I don't know. The people were talking a lot about the the heartfelt the heartfelt stitch along. Um, from the fat quarter shop uh, and it looked like quite a small design uh, it is quite a small design so it's a very small like very small not a very small but it's a relatively small stitch along nothing like the modern folk embroidery one <laughs> so it's a small stitch along that's um, a charity stitch along um, so the chart can actually be downloaded free of charge from the fat quarter shop shop website uh, but they do ask for a donation. Uh, of course, it's up to you how much you donate. They suggest twenty dollars, and the donation goes to towards the Make a Wish. I think it's called Make a Wish charity, 
and it's a very lovely charity um which uh, i really like it actually which um grants grants well which funds um wishes <laughs> so 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 yeah so wishes funds wishes for um for children with um either terminal diseases or um you know conditions which may not which may make it difficult for them uh to have a normal childhood you know what we think of as normal childhood it, it just makes it you know they spend a lot of time in hospitals um on treatments and they may not have all the they may not be able to do all the things that other kids do and so this charity then um is able to 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 make something happen for them that maybe like, it's like a big dream of theirs so so something like um that there's some actually really really lovely stories on their website of of kids you know for some it's like building a tree house for them or for some it may be like a trip to disneyland or uh, you know whatever it is um i think it's a lovely cause uh, i think it's a lovely thing for people to do so um i did want to to try and and con you know contribute and and i think it's a nice thing uh, for people to be stitching along and and promoting that charity as well promoting that cause uh so i did uh i did decide to to join the stitch along and i downloaded my first so so in the first uh, so i'll show you actually here i'll show you the picture of what the finished um project of the finished thing looks like um and the first part of that stitch along is actually just stitching the border and gosh you know how i feel about stitching borders now after this month uh, but the nice thing about this border you can it's a very mindless stitching so you can just sit you don't have to look at the chart or anything it just is very repetitive uh, so i was stitching it on evenings when when i don't want to have to concentrate on anything and i'm just like you know watching tv and just want to stitch something mindlessly uh, so and so I did stitch this border somehow I managed to finish but because I was getting um, I don't know a bit fed up and also I was thinking it's not looking very good because I'm just I'm just stitching it on white Ada I think it's 18 count that I'm stitching it on but it's just plain white Ada and the border is gray and I was getting very sad about just stitching gray border on white Ada I was thinking it's just such a bad idea so I just to make it more interesting I I kind of cheated i cheated and i looked at the the image so the second part hasn't been released so the second part will be like the first column of the design and i i stitched the first the top star because because it's very easy to you know you can just figure it out from the picture where the stitches should be going you can just count it from the picture so i did stitch the first star and i made it blue because i was so tired of gray i said i'm not stitching any more gray i'm gonna make that top star blue so this is what I have. <laughs> so I've got my borders finished and I have this, I made this blue. Um, yeah, so this is the first ever stitch along in history of Earth, probably the last one where I'm, where I'm actually ahead of the stitch along. <laughs> I actually, I actually did more than I should have. <laughs> so this is, this is the record. This is the, the moment, the historical moment, which will probably never happen again. But that, this is the nice thing about this chart that you don't actually, like, I think I don't have to wait for the, the release of the other parts because I can just figure out from, from the actual image what what the what the pattern is. Um, and because it's a free pattern, I don't have to feel bad about it, right? <laughs> but anyway, I did pay for it. I did pay, well, I, I did donate, so, so yeah just just in case you're thinking I'm, I'm stealing i'm not i'm not um yeah no i do love this um i think this i'm not normally a big charity like i don't know i'm always not sure like should i give them like i don't know but but so there are some charities which you like yeah yeah that's that's a good cause you know there's just some charities which just hit home and you're like yeah and this is one of those okay so this is all of the things i've been working on I know it's been a very long video and and it's like I hope I hope you know I hope that it's not too long for you <laughs> I didn't want to rush this one and I kind of just wanted again I wanted to have a friend friend to talk to I did buy quite a few things last month but I'm not going to show you all the things I bought and there's a few things I want to start that I didn't start uh, some of them I've shown to you some of them I said I was going to show to you but I haven't 
and I think I'm not going to show them to you today. There's only two things I, I thought I will just maybe, I don't know, but I don't want to like unpack them right now. But I'll show you, I'll show you something that I got that I'm very excited about. So one thing is something that I saw someone stitch on Instagram and I fell in love with that. Absolutely fell in love with their stitching. And it's something that I think is out of print now in terms of the kit. So it used to be a kit, but I don't think they still make the kit. As far as I can see, it looks like they're not selling, like it's out of stock everywhere. You can still get a chart on like one to three stitch, you can get just the chart. But I was lucky enough to find the kit for this on eBay. It just seemed to appear on UK eBay. Um, an unopened um, kit from, I think it was made in 1990 something. So from quite a few years back. I, I did open it and I, and I did look at the chart and stuff. And the chart, you can see it's an old kit because the chart is very small and very hard to read. But I'm still determined that I really want to stitch it. So it's not gonna you know, throw me off. I'm still gonna do it. It's just, it looks like it's not gonna be easy. And there's lots of specialty stitching in it, which is something that's new to me. Um, so I'm on one hand very excited because I think it's gonna look gorgeous because I've seen pictures of it. And I'm gonna show you actually, because I don't think the kit gives it justice, but I'm gonna show you some pictures here that I, I will acknowledge uh, the person, I can't remember now the, the name of that person that I'm following on Instagram, the, the name of their Instagram account. Uh, but her stitching is just gorgeous. I, I think you should follow her too because um, she's doing beautiful stitching. And she's done lots of beautiful pictures on this project. I will put some here for you to see. But I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful project. Uh, it's a kit from Dimensions um, and it's called Flowers and Lace. Flowers and Lace. Uh, designed by Sandy Orton from the Cooler Design Studio. The kit con comes uh, with 14 count beige cotton Ada. Uh, and they don't say if it's DMC floss. Well, I suspect it probably is, but it's like old floss. I mean, it's from 1990 something. So this is the kit that I got. Um, yeah, again, the sun, there's blur and stuff, but you've, you've seen the pictures, hopefully. And you can see this is the fabric it comes with. So like a beige kind of Ada, 14 count. So not my favorite count, but it's fine. I was thinking replacing it with a different fabric, but I'm not sure if I can be bothered. I've seen pictures of it on original fabric and they look gorgeous. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about using the original fabric. I think it will still look gorgeous. Um. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see when I start. But I think it'll be fine. Maybe maybe I'm switching. Maybe I'm starting to like 14 count a bit more after that peacock. Um, and yeah, this are, these are the threads. So you can see some, some colors. Uh, yes, I'm very excited about this one. And I just remembered, speaking of peacock, I never told you um, that that needle minder is also from Just So Heavenly. I was meant to say that and I didn't. So just so heavenly for that. It's a gorgeous peacock needle minder. And the last thing that I didn't expect to buy and I felt very guilty about the amount of money I spent on it, but I thought it was a catch. There's a, there, so I'm, you know, I only have one Mirabilia that I started and I haven't stitched on it in months now. Um, and I, I'm not a big, big, big person on Mirabilias. It's not like they're not my complete, like, you know, they're, they're not like the, the top thing on my list. But there's a few of them that I really want uh, to stitch one day. And there's one that I had on my, like, wish list. And I didn't realize that this one is also out of print. I think it is, at least from what I can see. Also, it's out of stock in a lot of places and... Uh, you can get it on eBay, but for high prices, which usually I think means um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's out of print. So, okay, so if it was just, just about the chart, I, I wouldn't have bought it now. But I found there was someone, again, a private seller on eBay who was selling a whole kit for this. 
And it, it was a reasonable price. Like, it was how much you would pay for a, a kit, Mirabilia kit now. So it wasn't like crazy price. It was just, you know, they're expensive as they are. And I thought, well, where am I going to find a kit like that now? And I know that I want to stitch this. And I realized, yeah, the kit was very good price. So basically the charts themselves now go for like 40 pounds, I think. And the kit was like 80 pounds. And I was like... Okay, that has fabric, beads, and threads. So if I don't get this kit from that seller, I'm probably not gonna find another kit. So if I ever want to stitch this in future, I'm gonna have to get the chart separately, right? So that would be like 40 pounds. I'm gonna have to have a fabric, then I'm gonna have to get the threads and the beads. So I'm gonna end up spending more. So I thought it's actually a good deal. Uh, so in the end, I, I did buy it. It says this one. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, I, I have a ring now on my finger, <laughs> which, yeah, <laughs> still making me anxious. <laughs> but, um, but I think this is very appropriate to the occasion. And I'd really love to stitch this, though I don't know. I'd love to start it, but I'm really not in, in place right now to start a big project right like this. But I'm not... I'm not guaranteeing I'm not going to start it, because you never know. I may. <laughs> but I really wanted to get it and have it in my stash. Um, the thing is, I have my other Mirabilia, which I really want to come back to. So that's also part of the reason why I don't really want to start another Mirabilia right now. But again, I can't guarantee I won't. But it's this one. And yeah, I did get it with all the threads. It also comes with Ada, this one, which is um, normally for Mirabilia, I wouldn't use Ada, but this one is practically full coverage. Um, so all of this, sorry about the sun, but all of this is stitched. I think it's just the border that's not stitched. So, so there's like some bits that are stitched in the border, but I think it's just the border that you can see the fabric. So I don't think it's worth changing a fabric just for that, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure what count, I think this is 14 counts, so maybe that's the only thing. Uh, but then for the beads, I think it's it's good to have a higher count or lower count. <laughs> I think because some of the beads look a bit big. Uh, so I'll probably stick with that. But yeah, it comes with all these threads that were called for. So it's these sparkly, sparkly threads and um, and lots of beads. And I just thought it's such a good deal, honestly. Such a... So yes, I got it. And I've got it in my stash now. And I don't know when I'm going to start it yet, but it's exciting. And that's everything I wanted to show you today, guys. And I realize this has been a very long video. And yeah, I apologize, but also I don't apologize. Because for me, it just feels like I had a meeting with, with friends. Um, where I could talk about things that I really love. And actually... It made me happier. See, I was a bit unsure about recording this video in the first place. And I know I started it on a sad note. And yeah. And I have been feeling, you know, all over the place lately. But this actually been really good for me to do. So it's nice to be able to connect to, to, to you guys. To other people out there. Wherever you are in the world. That, that like the same things that I like. And that have been very, very supportive of me and my chaotic floss tubes and my other chaotic videos. And I just really, really appreciate that you're there. So yeah, so um, it actually made me feel better. <laughs> so thank you guys for that. Thank you for being there. I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'll have to obviously edit it and so I'll, I'll rewatch it. But I, I feel like I don't even know what I said half of the time. And I don't know if I told you all the things that I needed to tell you and if I told you in the right places or what. But it's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> so I just wanted to wish you all, you know, good. So for me, it's Saturday now. But I don't know when I'll edit it and when I'll post it. But um, yeah, I wanted to wish you a good day or a good night or a good week. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're also stitching or working on whatever craft that you're working on and that life has been treating you well. Um, 
Yeah, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for being there for me. And I really hope that you'll visit my channel again, that you'll come back for my next video. Um, if you're new here, though I don't know, I don't know <laughs> if anybody new stayed this long, but if you're new here, uh, then, you know, I would appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up for this video. Uh, but also please consider subscribing uh, if you enjoyed this video and you stayed all the way to the end uh, you may enjoy seeing my other videos um, so yeah you can uh, you can also hit that there's like a bell down there and that will make sure that you get notified uh, next time when I post uh, another video which may be diamond painting related or floss tube whatever it is that you'd like to watch um, but yeah just make sure you hit that bell in case if you'd like to hear about my next video and yeah this is it <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time um yeah bye bye <laughs>